So Vanessa, welcome to CU TV News. It's good Thank to have you, you with us Thank as well. Thank you for well. having me. So tell us about the experience you've had working with Claudia Harvey mm -hmm. as a client. Sure. So funny how I met Claudia. I was at a Bill Walsh event, and she happened to be there as a guest speaker. And at that time, it was about maybe a week before I had left my corporate job, ready to start this dream business that I had this idea of for years. And I happened to talk to her after the event, just chit-chatting, because I wanted to know about like her journey. Because she was talking about her leaving her corporate job to start her business, Dig It. And I really wanted to understand, like if she were to go back, like what would she have done differently? And that just started our conversations. And from there, we connected, had some chats. I told her about what I wanted to do. And then it's kind of when I realized talking to her that I needed someone that was going to provide me that direction, that strategic direction to help me create this or bring this idea to life. So when you were at that uh, convention, at that conference, <laughs> what was it about Claudia that drew you in? Because you had a lot of speakers speaking that day. Yeah, that's, that's very true. It was something about, I think, just how she was presenting herself, that confidence, and as she was explaining her journey, just seeing how she took this idea of just, you know, being in the backyard or at the barbecue and having this little light bulb moment and creating that into a business, that's what really sparked with me because I, I, I resonated because it, to me it was like, oh, I had this like light bulb moment idea. Yeah. Can I do the same? And also I'm a little biased because she's a female. I'm all about like women empowerment and I just feel like she could relate to me a little more than anyone else. So I, it was just this instant connection, just seeing her on stage and how she was talking. And I got this sense that she was real. And that was important for me to be with someone or have someone Authentic, help me exactly right. that Authentic, would be real. real with me. Yeah. Did you see reflections of yourself in her? I did. I did. I looked at her and I'm like, I want to be on stage one day. Like, if I could do this, if I could create this business and then have that branch off into exactly what she's doing and empowering women and helping women, I'm like, that would be my ideal. So when you went to that conference, what was your position like? Where were you at with the company developing things? And then how has that enhanced with Claudia coming into your world? Yeah, I was at zero that day. <laughs> zero. I had just left my job, I think it was less than a week. Um, must have been like maybe like three days before I had quit my corporate job. Just had the idea. I hadn't really formulated. It was just a bunch of things on paper for me. So I was at zero. <laughs> and I, I basically, yeah, came on and, and Claudia really just got me from the bottom to help me create this business and bring it to life. And throughout our time together, She's given me a lot of ahas. <laughs> She's given me a lot of kick in the pants, which I need it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's been a lot of that strategic direction that I needed. So, for instance, one of the biggest things when we first started out, she really helped me figure out how to get organized as mm -hmm. an entrepreneur. Because when you're coming from, you know, a career and being an employee and having that employee mindset, you really have to change the way you work, the way you act. So that was one of the biggest things. She really taught me how to reverse engineer my plan. Because I had all these great ideas. I wanted to launch this business, but... How do I do it? I like, like that how expression, do... reverse engineer. Yeah, I stole that from her. <laughs> kind of like the about face. Yeah, so, yeah. so where were you headed and how did you reverse it? What was reversed? So for me, like how I'm programmed initially, it was just, you know, okay, I'm going to create this business. I'm going to launch this business. I'm going to do step one. I'm going to do step two. And I'm going to hope that in like three months time it's launched. Mm -hmm. But instead she's like, no, you have to look at it differently. Okay, when do you want to launch? And so I, I set that date. And she's like, okay, that's great, but that means you need the website done by this time. So we went backwards. In order, to need you, in order for you to launch the website, you need to have the copy done. You need to have your programs done. And we just kept going backwards and backwards and backwards. And then that basically created my plan, my project plan of how to launch the business and create the business. And when we did that, I realized, oh, that magic date in my head may not be realistic. So mm -hmm. I had to switch some things around so that I could actually work with a realistic timeline. So the magic date in your head, was it a lot closer than it should have been? <laughs> yeah. As she allowed you to and showed you how to pace, breathe, strategize, take yes. time, 
really and, is the pacing is important. And yes, kicked her and forward. Kicked, yes, yes, yes. Take which it to I another needed. level. Exactly. Yeah. Which, and I think that's one of the things I love so much with working with Claudia is that she really makes sure you get your butt in gear. That you really, you know, if you want to do this, if you're serious about starting a business or taking your business to the next level, you really need someone, I, p I feel, that is going to really push you and move you and that's what she's done. So like you said, you were, when you went to the conference and you had met Claudia, you were at zero. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why zero? Was it? Bec was there anything holding you back? Were you sabotaging yourself? Was there anything that, did you need that somebody to come in and help accelerate things for you? I was at zero because it, it was not, so it was always an idea for me. I always thought I would work on it while maintaining my corporate job. Um, and as an accountant, so I'm a, a CPA, I never had the time to work on it on the side. Like my hours, life was crazy with, happen, with work, right. with career. And so it was always just an idea. So I was at zero because I could never put time to it. So the minute I left my job, the whole purpose was to then start. Take that plunge. Yes. I'm going to go there, I'm going to do this, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> so what have you learned about yourself through the relationship with Claudia? I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I've learned that I I can do more than I think. You know, we always have these limiting beliefs and we, we think, okay, maybe I can't do it. Maybe I'm not cut out for it. Maybe I'm not smart enough or intelligent. And I think she's really helped me to dig deep and figure out like who I am and what drives me, what moves me. And that that was important for me because I really needed to tap into that to continue to keep going and to actually see this thing to life. So tell us about the company itself. Yeah, sure. So uh, my business is called Mintworthy, and it's really just about empowering women to live life on their own financial terms. I just, I want women to live boldly. I want them to just live in their worth, starting with their finances. And I feel like women, we don't like to talk about money. We shy away. And it's, it's a lot of reasons why. Some of it is the emotional connection towards money, how people feel, or their past, you know, perceptions. Or we sometimes think our other half should take care of it. Genera yeah. Yeah, generations have shown yes, that. Yes, yeah, exactly. Generation. And I, I feel like we're at a different time in life, and I really want women to live in their fullest with every aspect of their lives and really get comfortable because finances, it's, it's not scary. It's, it's not, and that's what Mint Worthy is about is providing that different look on finances and, and having women realize they can do it and they can be in control in their lives. I like the use of the word worthy, mint, <laughs> money, worthy, like you're worthy, yes. you're of value. Was that part of the reason for the creation for that terrific yes, name? It is actually. It took me a while <laughs> to come up with it, but that was exactly it. I really, when I think of what I want to do in, in life, not just with this business, I do want to empower women with money because I feel like that's the backbone of everything we do, but I also just want them to be their best self and truly live in their fullest worth because I feel like women are so powerful and we sometimes diminish ourselves, we make ourselves feel inferior and I want that to just not be there. I want us to just shine and really be who we're meant to be. Yeah. And Claudia has helped you achieve these levels yes. and this experience and understanding of a, yourself. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. Claudia, what's the relationship and experience been like working with Vanessa? Well. Um, Vanessa had a spark. Uh, the first time that I met her, she she was at ground zero. And normally I don't take a client on if they are at, right at the ground zero. She had given up her job, which is to me a red flag. Mm -hmm. But she had planned to give up her job. And she had an 18 month a nest egg, which is exactly what I had when I gave up my corporate and job. And that's mm -hmm. above the average yes. for most mm -hmm. people. And so that yeah. tells me focus and drive and determination planning, to do yeah. something different in her life. And that's what actually was the key to me to, to start working with her. And she had a really great idea that is niched to uh, the, the woman and the demographic that she wants to, to target. And again, niching is extremely important. So, um, you know, just like 
people that have invested time and effort in me, I wanted to invest time and effort into Vanessa to see where she could go with this business, and she has not let me down. A couple times, you know, we've had to re-jig, and, you know, I had to kick her a little bit to say, you can do this, yes. but that's surrounding yourself with people that believe in you, and, yes. I, and I totally believe in Vanessa. So these re-jig, these re-engineering time periods that you saw with mm -hmm. Vanessa were times when she was starting to get frustrated with herself and saying, what do we do? How, I, I yeah. don't think I can, can you know, yeah. get this done. Yeah, so we would just talk about some of those barriers and talk about things that weren't working for her, and, and we would shift the thinking and say, okay, well, these are the, the problems that we have to overcome. We, I say we, mm -hmm. because she she's working with me to help her, so let's look at it from this standpoint, and let's do, instead of, let's reverse engineer from that problem backwards. Yeah. So take teeny tiny steps instead of big bold steps. So go back and think teeny tiny steps. And it's okay that it sometimes takes longer than you anticipate. Mm -hmm. So the important part of what you said with the we, which is very important, because I'm a very we person, mm -hmm. as opposed to I, I like to do we a lot, because mm -hmm. I like to incorporate others. The we is because you want to not just say, okay, here's what you should really do, move on, mm -hmm. it's you want to empower her. Right. So those moments maybe where you're not in the room with her, oh, yeah. holding mm -hmm. her hand, uh -huh. <laughs> she has the tools. Oh, Claudia said, yes. I remember Claudia pointing out this, and that gives you the empowerment you need to be able to continue mm -hmm. in doing what you're doing. Well, and, and often we're not in the same room, yeah. because right. we meet virtually. Mm -hmm. We meet yeah. over, the, uh, over Zoom or yeah. Skype or even a phone call. So mm -hmm. there's no reason in today's day and age that you actually physically have to be together. Um, true. Often we share the screen and we look at documents that Vanessa's created. So, and I give her homework. Yes. When, when after the end of our discussion, I say, this is what you have to do, boom, 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 boom. And it's up to her to do it. And you right? thought homework ended when school was I over, know, right? I did, I did. Homework <laughs> never ends. I did, and it's not even a short list sometimes. Sometimes it's super it's, long. It's yeah. But a, I, I needed that. That's what I needed. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you would recommend this sort of relationship. Somebody watching right now who perhaps is on the verge yes. of a brilliant idea, a concept, maybe moving their life forward, it has done that for you. You've yeah. seen changes in yourself and in your life and even probably financial situation, all of the above because of the relationship with Claudia and her Absolutely. input, her perspective, her vision, her ideas. Yes, absolutely. I would hands down say, especially a, a young entrepreneur, someone who's just starting out with business, or even if you're seasoned and you really just need to get to the next level, I have always believed that if you want to become successful, you have to follow someone and learn from someone who's already there. So for me, I would say hands down, anyone that has an idea, and it's just trying to bring that idea to life. I think you need that direction that Claudia provides. I mean, even the simplest things that I didn't really think about, she was able to just take her ideas, her experience, and say, well, how about this? Well, how about that? Like, even with my programs, like, I had all these ideas of programs that I wanted to do, but she really helped me to just focus. Okay, what is it that you want to provide? How are you going to help women? And that really led to the creation of the group program that I have, as well as the, the holiday niche program or focus program. And that all came from discussions with Claudia. And I, mm. without that, I, I probably would have just had a hod, hodgepodge <laughs> of things and really no focus or direction in the business. What's really cool and really special about this whole thing that I'm picking up from this is that you yourself even had the vision to know early on before you even started investing in this company and really spending years on this company, mm -hmm. throwing things up in the air and hoping they land correctly, you had the idea of, I'm gonna need some assistance, some advice, some help yeah. before I really get entrenched in this. Because a lot of people make the mistake of trying to do it on their own, doing too much, then getting caught up in it, either financially or time-wise, or giving up other things that really supported them, and now they're stuck. Money isn't coming in, sales yeah. aren't happening. Now what do I do when you panic? You had the vision to say, you know what, before I really launch this, let me get people around me that mm -hmm. can really show me the way. They've done it, they walk the walk, talk the talk. Yes and can give me the perspective I need, right? Yeah, I that makes a world of difference. I think it's so important, especially as, like, we're so programmed, you know, most of us to be employees and have that mindset. When you're starting a business, you can't be the same person you were yesterday to create a business. And for me, I don't want, 
like you were saying, people spend all that time and go through, you know, this, you know, try this, try that. I didn't want that. I just, I wanted to say, okay, if I'm going to quit my job and I've only got these 18 months, things have to happen. Yeah, now, so it's, right, right. it's now or, or never. I can't try. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's a great thing to do that, right? You would recommend people do that early in the game before they get to... Totally. Yeah. Totally. And, and we helped Vanessa brand and understand mm -hmm. her niche, yes. which was really important because yeah. it hones exactly your target audience and who you want to talk to. Yeah. So um, Kim Speed, my branding specialist, and I, we had a deep dive session with Vanessa to talk about her brand, her, her, her market, the, the ideal client that she wants to attract. Mm -hmm then how we're going to attract that. So it's step by step building the business around the concept of what she wanted, which I thought had a lot of legs to it as well. So what do you see as uh, the future of this relationship? <laughs> What's on the horizon for Claudia and Vanessa? Obviously a lot from these smiles. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I lot. see a vision for Folks, her that there, I don't know if she realizes yet. There might be a part yet. two to this situation. <laughs> yeah. You may see them again here on CUTV News. Will. Yeah. I think you will. I, yeah, I, I see a vision for <laughs> Vanessa that I don't know if she realizes yet. Oh, that's uh -oh. cool. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Just, uh, kind of sit scared. up straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But good things on the horizon, huh? Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. She's going to do amazing. She's gonna do, like, the business is already flourishing. It's taking off, and it's, she's going to do absolutely fantastic. So. It, the, the, the world's her oyster, and she's, I have to say, I see a little bit of, of me and her, because, you know, mm -hmm. I'm 300 years older than she is, <laughs> but um, she has that drive and that spark that I think I had when I started out as being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. so uh, she's, she's going to do that for other people, for other women. So what I see is that you see each other in each other. You see yourself yeah, in each other. Yeah. That's why I get along so well. I yeah, think. I think yeah. so too. Isn't that correct? Yeah. When that happens? It's yeah. crazy. It's a it's crazy. relationship here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's true. Yeah. Well, and for Vanessa to be here today out of yeah. out of the goodness of her heart is just wonderful. You know, that's the give sure. back that we were talking about. Yeah. It's wonderful. That's right. She gave up yeah. that uh, cruise around the world to come here, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We could have cruised with her. With the champagne her. and the caviar <laughs> exactly. to be with us. Exactly. Well, thank no, you so I much. Have, I wouldn't have treated this for anything. Mr. For World. Well, Vanessa, yes. thank you so very much. Thank you so we much. We really appreciate your coming here thank to the you. studio and sharing your experience and your relationship with Claudia and how she's helped you. And we wish you continued success. And we know we're going to see much more of you. So bravo thank with you. what you've accomplished this far. And Good luck with the future. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. Thanks.